dear students in this module i'll talk about the 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 keyword value and what are the parameters and what are the things which you should be looking while deciding a keyword for your domain name so the perfect domain name how to get your perfect domain name of course it has to be available also so there are eight dimensions now a uh, number of organizations uh, look at two dimensions or three dimensions or maybe four dimensions of a perfect keyword for the domain name so in this module i'll talk about the eight dimensions of a perfect keyword because there is a lot of value associated with the keyword and i will look at all those eight dimensions in this module and in the next module and i will explain to you that what are the features and what are the things which you should be looking at while considering the perfect domain name so let's give you an example over here the famous british uh, dramatist probably which they call the greatest in the history and uh, it says that what's in a name but that was like couple of or maybe 400 years ago there is a lot of value associated with the name let's look at an example over here so we have this domain name over here which is rose okay you can look at the value over here 380000 dollars so this is rose and this is also rose so what is the difference over here this versus this the difference is in the extension over here dot com com versus biz in this context and gulab which is also rose okay you can see gulab is getting 4900 us dollars so there is lot of things which are associated with the name so uh, this screen shows you those eight dimensions and uh, i will go through those dimensions one by one and i will explain to you that what is the strength and for for example search volume now search volume means that how many people on the internet are looking for that keyword or using that keyword in their searches uh, for this purpose one thing is you can go to google trends and you can punch in the keyword and you can see uh, what was the percentage searches it doesn't give the 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 actual volume but it gives the percentage then is the conversion value the conversion value means that if you select that keyword then how that keyword will help you get to your objective which is usually the sale of a product or a service so what is the conversion value of that keyword then is the brand value how does that keyword goes with your organization culture or with the with the picture or with the or whatever you are projecting or how it sounds that keyword that domain name sounds with your company name or what your company offers so that is the brand value so of course uh, there are uh, people in the market who may have captured all or who may have registered those brand valued keywords so you have to deal with it which is not part of this course then is the persona value now like uh, unlike the print media or unlike uh, the electronic media which means the radio or television in the context of the web you are getting lots and lots of information about the visitors to your website and their demographic information tells you a lot about the personal likes and dislikes the personal behavior of your users of your visitors so you have to take into consideration all these factors while considering a keyword so the point i'm trying to make is that you don't know when a newspaper is published the publisher don't know who is reading that newspaper or where that newspaper will go and how much time people will spend reading that newspaper but if you have or you have your electronic or web based version of the newspaper you know all those things even the browser being used even the device being used so based upon that you have to decide about the perfect keyword and then is the trending value now trending value is like a recipe for example there is a certain holiday and certain items are in uh, in demand 
their recipes are in demand and after that holiday is gone those recipe demands are gone so a keyword which goes with the trending value has a certain a certain shelf life so to say so you may be looking at the keyword on long term basis instead of short term basis and then is the competitive value competitive value means that what your competitors competition is looking for in the keyword and what you should have in your keyword in your domain name so that you go ahead you are going ahead in front ahead of your competition so that is the competitive value and then is the funnel value and of course there is a social value social value how people associate socially uh, it is kind of a trending thing also because the social value certain things are long term certain things are short term and and if if you are socially conscious or if your organization your business your product your service is socially oriented then that should be reflected in your keyword also so these are the eight dimensions of a perfect keyword and while you are looking for a keyword you should be looking at all of them and uh, look at the value also the overall value so that's all i have to say in this module